what do these geniuses decide to do? Raise prices? More competition from Disney, HBO Max, Paramount, Peacock, Apple TV+, Plus, Amazon Prime Video. The list just goes on and on and on. We've had an inflated multiple for years. This is not a buy opportunity for Netflix, okay? We've talked a lot about it on the show, about Netflix not being a platform company, being a linear company, when they should have embraced platform business models. We've predicted for years that Netflix did not have supply side barriers to entry, that they could be competed against successfully much more easily than Wall Street was factoring into their valuation and their multiple. We are now seeing that again in spades. Netflix now raising prices, which makes no sense, especially when you have a lot more competition from Disney, from HBO Max, from Paramount Network, from you know Peacock, from Apple TV Plus, Amazon Prime Video, like the list just goes on and on and on. And so what do these geniuses decide to do? Raise prices? Oh boy. Now we see a week or so later after that, Netflix shares sink as companies see subscriber growth slowing. Here's the stock price. Woo, yeah. Oof, getting crushed down over 30% down almost $200 from early January. They were in the f high 500s. Now they're in the high 300s. So we see subscriber growth slowing. What should we do? Raise prices. Hmm. Kind of like that McKinsey article or that story that just came out about uh, Peloton hiring McKinsey and the solution being for them to stop making bicycles. <laughs> what should we do? Let's stop making our products and fire a bunch of people. Mm, yeah, what should we do? Competition is coming in, creating other high quality content, creating a viable alternative at a cheaper price than us. What should we do? Raise our prices. You know what they need? New leadership, it's time. We've been calling this on the show for years. It's not Fang, it's Famga, right? Replace the N, Netflix with Microsoft. Now our next story, go check it out, is it's actually not Famga, it's now Seuss. It's the kind of mid-cap platform stocks who can use M&A as a, as a growth accelerant, like we saw the old Famga from you know the past five, 10 years use M&A. Famga can't use M&A, now we're seeing Seuss uh, use M&A quite brilliantly. But yeah, this is not a buy opportunity for Netflix, okay? Um, this is just more of what's to come. They've had an inflated multiple for years. There's more to go on bringing that down to earth in terms of comps with where the Disneys of the world sit. Hi, I'm Alex. Thanks for watching the show. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, but even better, make sure to follow us on Odyssey, follow us on Rumble, and text us. 203-646-5159. Text the word Monopoly. You'll be subscribed. You'll get updates about when we're going live, our latest videos, and we'll send you even a little goodie bag. And in the event that we all get banned from big tech, we'll still be connected.